In this video, we are going to discuss the product rule of differentiation. The derivative of the product of two differentiable functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Symbolically, the derivative with respect to x of the product of two functions f of x and g of x is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function or f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Here g prime of x and f prime of x are the derivative of the function g of x and f of x with respect to x. Let us do some problem on the product rule of differentiation. Let us look at the first problem. They have asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x of y is equal to 1 minus root x, 1 plus root x. In the solution, we will write down dy by dx, that is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y, which is equal to d dx of 1 minus root x, 1 plus root x. Now, the derivative of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Now, in this case, we need to find the derivative with respect to x of the sum of two functions. Now, here we need to apply the sum and difference rule. The derivative of the sum or difference of two functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual functions. So derivative with respect to x of the two functions is equal to derivative with respect to x of the first function plus derivative with respect to x of the second function plus now the second function remains as this again in this case we need to apply the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of the sum or difference of two functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual function so the derivative with respect to x of the difference of the two functions in this case is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the first function minus the derivative with respect to x of the second function the derivative with respect to x of a constant function is equal to zero plus the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to one by two root x plus Again, the derivative with respect to x of a constant function is equal to 0 minus the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Now, 1 minus root x times 1 is equal to 1 minus root x plus times minus is equal to minus 1 plus root x times 1 equals 1 plus root x. Since we have a common denominator of 2 root x, so we have 1 minus root x minus 1 plus root x. By clearing the brackets, we have 1 minus root x minus into plus is minus 1 minus into plus is minus root x. Now, positive 1 and negative 1 can be cancelled out. Minus root x minus root x is equal to minus 2 root x. By cancelling the numerator and denominator, we have derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus 1. So, this is our answer. Let us look at the second problem. So y is equal to the product of two functions. The first function is x square plus 4x and the second function is x square minus 4x. In the solution, we will write down dy by dx, that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y, which is equal to d dx of the first function x square plus 4x times the second function x square minus 4x. Using the product rule, the derivative of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times derivative of the second function plus the second function times derivative of the first function. In this case, we need to find the derivative of the difference of two functions. So we need to use the sum and difference rule. The derivative of the sum or difference of two functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivatives of the two functions. So the derivative with respect to x of the difference of two functions is equal to the derivative of the first function minus the derivative of the second function.
plus again the derivative with respect to x of the sum of two functions is equal to the derivative of the first function plus the derivative of the second function using the power function rule we have the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 minus using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 4x is equal to 4 times the derivative of x plus again using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 plus again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 4x is equal to 4 times the derivative of x 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we can simply write down x minus 4 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we can simply write down x plus 4 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 simplifying further we have 2x minus 4 times 1 equals 4 plus 2x plus 4 times 1 equals 4 let us simplify further by multiplying the two expression in the multiplication process first we need to check the sign that is we need to multiply the sign first next the number or constant and finally the variable let us start by multiplying the first term and the first expression with the other two terms in the second expression and next the second term and the first expression with the other two terms in the second expression let us start with the first term now the sign is positive in both case 2 times 1 equals 2 now x to the power m times x to the power n is equal to x to the power m plus n so x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 is equal to x to the power 3 that is x cube plus times minus is equal to minus 1 times 4 is equal to 4 x to the power 2 plus times plus is equal to plus 4 times 2 equals 8 x to the power 1 times x to the power 1 is equal to x to the power 2 that is x square plus into minus is minus 4 times 4 equals 16 x plus times plus is equal to plus 1 times 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 is equal to x to the power 3 plus 1 times 4 equals 4 x square minus 4 times 2 equals 8 x to the power 1 times x to the power 1 equals x to the power 2 minus times plus equals minus 4 times 4 equals 16 x by clearing the brackets we have 2x cube plus 2x cube is equal to 4x cube minus 4x square can be cancelled out with positive 4x square positive 8x square can be cancelled out with negative 8x square minus 16x minus 16x is equal to minus 32x by taking 4x as a common factor we are left with x square minus 8 so this is our final answer let us look at a third problem y is equal to rack of two functions the first function is ax square plus bx plus cx and the second function is bx plus q in the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the two functions using the product rule the derivative of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function so derivative with respect to x of the two functions in this case is equal to the first function times derivative of the second function plus the second function times derivative of the first function the first function will remain as it is using the sum and difference rule the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function plus the second function will remain as it is now derivative of the sum of three functions is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function plus derivative of the third function in the given problem a b c p and q are constant parameters 
the derivative with respect to x of p x is equal to p times the derivative with respect to x of x plus the derivative with respect to x of q is equal to zero since q is a constant parameter plus using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of a x square is equal to a times the derivative with respect to x of x square plus using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of b x is equal to b times the derivative with respect to x of x plus using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of c x is equal to c times the derivative with respect to x of x the derivative with respect to x is equal to 1 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 again the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 now p times 1 is equal to p x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we can simply write down x b times 1 is equal to b c times 1 is equal to c so this is our final answer let us look at the fourth problem now y is equal to the product of two functions the first function is 4x square plus 2x and the second function is 8x cubed minus 3x square in the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to the dx of the product of the two functions using the product rule the derivative of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function the first function remains as it is using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of the difference of two functions is equal to derivative with respect to x of the first function minus derivative with respect to x of the second function plus the second function remains as it is derivative with respect to x of the sum of two functions is equal to derivative with respect to x of the first function plus derivative with respect to x of the second function using the constant times a function rule derivative with respect to x of 8x cube is equal to 8 times the derivative with respect to x of x cube minus again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 3x square is equal to 3 times the derivative with respect to x of x square plus using the constant times a function rule derivative with respect to x of 4x square is equal to 4 times the derivative with respect to x of x square plus again using the constant times a function rule derivative with respect to x of 2x is equal to 2 times the derivative with respect to x of x using the power function rule derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 is equal to 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 minus using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2 is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 plus the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 now 8 times 3 is equal to 24 x to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 2 3 times 2 equals 6 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or simply x 4 times 2 equals 8 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or simply x plus 2 times 1 equals 2 let us simplify further by multiplying the two expression now plus into plus equals plus 4 times 24 equals 96 x to the power 2 times x to the power 2 equals x to the power 4 now plus into minus equals minus 4 times 6 equals 24 x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 equals x to the power 3 plus times plus equals plus 2 times 24 equals 48 x to the power 1 times x to the power 2 equals x to the power 3 plus times minus equals minus 2 times 6 equals 12 x to the power 1 
times x to the power 1 equals x square plus times plus equals plus 8 times 8 equals 64 x to the power 3 times x to the power 1 equals x to the power 4 now plus times plus equals plus 8 times 2 equals 16 x cube minus times plus equals minus 3 times 8 equals 24 x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 is equal to x cube minus times plus equals minus 3 times 2 equals 6 x to the power 2 by clearing the brackets we have 96 x to the power 4 plus 64 x to the power 4 is equal to 160 x to the power 4 minus 24 x cube minus 24 x cube is equal to minus 48 x cube 48 x cube plus 16 x cube is equal to 64 x cube minus 12 x square minus 6 x square is equal to minus 18 x square 64 x cube minus 48 x cube is equal to 16 x cube minus 18 x square taking a common factor 2 x square we are left with 80 x square plus 8 x minus 9 so the final answer is dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2x square within bracket 80x square plus 8x minus 9.